Hello, everybody. What is up? And welcome. I am the OG Geo, Greg Osmond. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is episode 30 of World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. If you missed the last episode and click that I in the top right of the screen, go check that out. And boy, was it a doozy. It was a good one. You're going to want to go check it out. I don't want to spoil it, but uh, had some big stuff happen there. Uh, and as always, make sure you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel so you can follow along with the rest of this series, and go check out that video description for our link tree link to our channel supporters and sponsors. Definitely want you to go support those that support us, and go check out channel memberships. Got some new perks added in there, and for channel members, we're going to be starting a Discord here pretty soon. Probably next week, we'll have that open and available to channel members. Channel memberships can be the only way to get into that Discord. So definitely go check that out. Episode 30 here. Oh boy. Up next, we got Eldora in the big block. Went ahead and repaired everything. Don't have enough money to get anything upgraded just yet. So we're good on the big block here. Eldora, half mile in Ohio, paying 6,000 to win. Let's go. All right, time to get qualified here at Eldora. We went ahead and got the practice goal out of the way. Goal was a 16,296. We got a 15,789. Goal position in qualifying is 15,935. We should be able to beat that. Car setup is on the 25% loose. Oh boy, here we go. Time to qualify. It is qualifying time at Eldora Speedway. Like I stated, 59.35 is the time to beat. Coming out of turn number four here. Under the flag stand, and we are on the clock in qualifying here in the big block. That last race we ran at Kokomo was a doozy. Where we run here, 15.833, and we beat the goal time in both practice and qualifying. So how about that? Got some bonus money in our pockets from both of those sessions. See where this lap's can put us. 838, 14th with that 15.833. Let me readjust myself here. We're gonna start heat two in the fourth position. That's definitely a good spot. Check out the results here. And Brian Ramirez grabs quick time at Eldora. Heat racing time. We're starting fourth in heat two. Let's get it on. Yep, top five to the A main. Top two to the qualified dash, like always. Here we go. Getting ready to go. Green flag racing here. And green flag is out. Ten laps is the distance, like always. Oh, man. Did not have a good start there. Ned Hill got a little wonky through turns one and two as well. We're going to hold the fourth position, at least momentarily. Bobby Young looking to the inside of us. Nothing doing just yet. You got Jesse right in front of us, holding down third. Ned Hill in front of Jesse in second in that qualified dash spot. Right goes to the top. We're going to stay on the bottom here. Nothing doing for right there as they're going to drop right back down to the bottom through turns one and two. I think that might be Abby Barnes. Out to the race lead. We're going to look up to the inside of Jesse Wright one more time. Coming out of turn number four. We're going to have the position. Seven left to go. Three laps complete here at Eldora Speedway. We are slowly but surely, as he bounces off the wall, catching up to Ned Hill for that qualified dash position. What do you guys think of the new look of the car? I got the nine racing stickers on the rear quarters and sails, partially. And sail panels, I should say. Our new sponsor on board. Kept Hux Hardware on the front of the doors, though. Ned Hill has pulled away quite a bit. Uh, right coming out of turn number four to grab the white flag. One lap to go in heat race action here at Eldora. We are plus one. Started fourth. We're running in the third position. And we are going to go through three and four and come across the line in third. So we're going to transfer into the A main. 
not into the qualified dash though, but hey, that's not a bad thing. We're gonna start 10th in the A main. Barnes grabs Win Hill, transferring into the dash with Barnes, and us, Jesse Wright, Bobby Young, gonna grab those other two A main transfer positions. All right, A main time, 40 laps, starting 10th. Here we go. A main time, Eldor Speedway, Big Block Modified, 40 laps. Ned Hill, he finished sixth in the dash. He's starting sixth. Jesse Wright starting 14th. They finished fourth in heat two. And Devin Reynolds starting 22nd after a runner-up finish in the B main. And there we are starting 10th. We finished third in heat four. Getting ready to go green flag racing for 40 laps at the big E. Here we go. Green flag is out. Going to head off into turn number one. We're going to grab ninth on, I believe that was Samantha Bell. We're immediately going to look on the inside of Ned Hill to try to grab eighth. No, he's going to stay powered up on the top side. Lots of people going to the top side. Multiple grooves here at Eldora Speedway. We're going to jump into the seventh position, looking for sixth on Harry Nelson. We got Eric Erickson, the man so nice. They named him twice. He's in front of us now, holding in the fourth position as we're knocking on the door of the top five. Robbie Collins and Harry Nelson powering through on the top side, though, to halt our progress momentarily. Well, that was a good corner entry. Luke Collins still up there on the top side, fighting hard. Good, good, good corner entry there. Good corner exit as well. He is fighting and fighting hard. Oh, Harry Nelson I left a little bit too much room there on the bottom through three and four. And he took advantage, but we got right back by. And we're going to sneak through and grab the position on Robbie Collins as well. He did the same thing this lap through three and four, but Harry Nelson not close enough to really make anything of it. Got to kind of settle into a groove now, just like always. Seven laps complete at the line here. Nothing real interesting, ha interesting happening so far. We're going to make a move on Erickson as he slides up, coming out of turn number two, try to grab that fourth position. No, nothing doing just yet as we've got 32 laps to go now. Ooh, look at that. Just dive into the corner. We're going to grab fourth over Erickson. Chase Jones now up next. We're starting to get into the back of the field. wonder how this is going to affect the front running cars. By that, I mean first, second, and third. Jones drops to the bottom as we're going to open the door for Erickson. Erickson's, Erickson's going to push us up a little bit, but... Man, oh, going to be able to squeeze through there. Chase Jones definitely not as good on the bottom, especially entering the corner. Ooh, he got slowed up a little bit there by the lapped car of Tommy Bailey. Ooh, Erickson... Just trying to dime in the corner a little bit. Trying to do the same thing here to get a little bit of a better run off the corner. Get a run on Chase Jones for a podium position. Ooh, made him made him flinch just a little bit as he got in he as he got into the corner. He knows I'm there. We're gonna try to make the move here through three and four. And yes, we've got third. Now Abby Barnes and Brian Ramirez running second and first respectively are three seconds ahead of us. <laughs> so this might be fairly uninteresting. 
Unless a caution comes out. 23 laps remaining. Huge mower. Oh, caution. There we go. All right. Sorry if you heard that. I'm watching the Tulsa shootout, like I said. And, uh, kid that won a junior sprint heat race has a huge mullet. All right. Getting ready to go green flag racing here on the restart. Green flag is out. We are in the third position. And I had just said this is probably going to be boring unless a caution comes out. So uh, we got our caution. Now we're looking to the inside of Abby Barnes for second. And we're going to make it happen, at least for the moment. She's going to try to power back on the top side. And she does. I'm going to dive it hard into turn number one, though. Nothing doing. She powers it by on the top side once again. Try to uh, enter the late apex of the corner, if you want to call it that. I don't think we're going to be able to catch Ramirez. We've got to watch Harry Nelson now behind us, trying to poke his nose in. Uh, not competing with each other at the moment. We're going to bounce it off the front stretch wall. Erickson and Nelson not really able to close in that much because of that. Nelson is running that top side, though, running it very well. 11 laps to go. Oh, another caution. Oh, don't hit it. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. That, I don't think I could have got much closer, but Abby Barnes did hit that lap car. So I'm assuming there's going to be some damage. Green flag is back out with less than 10 laps to go. We are with 10 laps to go. We are running in the third position. Abby Barnes with that damage, presumably, in the second position. See if we can make a pass and make a pass stick this time. Nelson trying to poke his nose in underneath. And we're going to pass Barnes for second. And try. Oh, there's Nelson trying to give me the door. I don't want to grab second and then immediately lose second. That's definitely not what I want. Let's see if we can power by Nelson back on the top side. He got real loose there off the corner. I'm going to pinch him as much as possible. There we go. All right. We're clear of Harry Nelson now. Abby Barnes has fallen like a rock after that damage. She's out of the top five now. We are running second to Brian Ramirez. How many laps to go now? Should be, oh no, that hurt. Six to go now at the line. We've got just a little bit of damage. 19% arrow damage now. Gotta stop doing that. <laughs> All right. Five to go. Fistful of phalanges flying in the air. Barnes has regrouped now. She's back up to the fourth position behind Harry Nelson. Ooh, now she's fighting Harry Nelson for the third position. We have four laps to go. Barnes on the inside. Nelson on the outside. Let's see what we can do here. Don't want to leave a gap at all for either one of them. Three to go. Oh, another caution. Abby Barnes. Abby Barnes is part of that. I think she got into it with Nelson. I have to go to the replay to see what happened there, but I'm not entirely sure. Nelson behind us now. Green flag going to come out with about two laps to go. Should be a green-white checkered if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to let Ramirez have that line because I wanted to get to the bottom. I don't really think I have anything for Ramirez anyway. Unless something weird happens, he's going to the top. We're staying on the bottom. White flag is out. Not presented by Credit One Bank, but we're going to be... Oh, boy. I don't think we're going to have a big enough run. No, we're not. We're just going to try to hold on here as Nelson tries to make a challenge for the second spot. No. We're going to come home with our second second in a row. Oh, man. We got some good momentum built up now. Ramirez grabs the win. We come home second. Nelson going to round out the podium. Robbie Collins in fourth, and Abby Barnes rebounds and finishes in the fifth position.
All right, second place at Eldora, second second place in a row. That's definitely good. We jumped two more spots in the point standings. We were seventh entering this race. 1264 uh, Abby Barnes to our 1162. So we're 102 points behind Abby Barnes. Brian Ramirez in second. So we beat Harry Nelson. We beat Chase Jones, gained on them. We've beaten everybody else except Abby Barnes and Brian Ramirez. Uh, or I'm sorry, except Brian Ramirez. So definite good points day for us as far as money is concerned 5400 2119 208 and 256 so we're going to leave eldora with seven thousand nine hundred and eighty three dollars all right back from eldora checked off one of those incentive goals added some money to the bank account added some fans as well don't have to do any repairs to the car after this race though that's a good sign as well Race nine of the first season in the big block. We finish in the second position. Prayer View's up next. I love this track. Love it, love it, love it. But let's go get the sprint car and get ready for that next race. All right, got the sprint car, getting it ready. And in case you missed that last episode, we did pull off the victory at Fairbury in the sprint car after a late race restart. Um... Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty crazy. Got our first sprint car win at the home track of Fairbury Speedway. Right now, we're getting the engine upgraded in the sprint car to level two. It was the only thing that was not level two. Uh, but as far as everything else, we're just going to repair the wings, get those back up to green status. Uh, 109 of 109, 44% upgraded with the sprint car, 50% overall durability. Up next, we got my one of my most hated tracks at Sterling County. Uh, but here we go. Let's go get it done. All right, qualifying time here. Now at Sterling County, we did grab that sponsor bonus with a 10855. Goal was an 11012. Goal time here at Sterling County for qualifying is a 10756. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that, but we sure will try. Let's head to the track. All right, qualifying time. Here we go. 10756. The goal time here at Sterling County. And how crazy would it be if I could grab two wins in a row at the two Illinois tracks? That would be insane in the membrane. We're going to come across the line with our first lap of an 11 0 Not the best. I do need to pick it up a bit, Mr. Announcer Man. Let's see what this second lap is going to give us. 11 flat. <laughs> like, legit, 11 flat. So, that's going to put us starting Heat 1 in the fifth position, a 17th overall qualifying effort. Check out the results here. Brian Ramirez, he's my nemesis right now, grabs top honors. Bell, Fabiano, Rodriguez, Arnold, the top five. Heat race time. We're starting fifth in heat race number one. I'm going to loosen the car up just a little bit. That is it. Here we go. Top five to the A main, just like always. We're starting in the top five, so definitely in a good spot there. Getting ready to go green, and we are green. Not in a good spot there. But we're going to pull it through, see what we can Ooh, Ooh, Bobby Young tries the miniature slide job. We're going to get into Bobby Young just a little bit, but we're going to grab the fifth position back from Bobby Young. we got Billy Green and Ricky Cox running in front of us now in fourth and third. Ooh, a little bit of contact there. Not sure who Ricky Cox got into, but it slowed down Billy Green, and I lost a lot of momentum. I think that's Kyle Arnold up there in the second position. Cox goes up to the top side. Ooh, Billy Green slows his progress quite a bit. We're going to get... Ooh, wow. I don't know how I was able to pull through that, but Billy Green is very slow, slowing down Ricky Cox quite a bit there behind us. I will take it. We're up to the third position now from fifth. Five down, five to go now. Try and run this middle groove, see if that helps us out at all. 
I know that bottom groove is definitely where we need to be. Car's handling pretty good though. Not really a lot to complain about. We're gonna be starting, uh, what is this, heat one, and we're gonna finish third most likely, unless Kyle Arnold screws himself over. Uh, what? Eight, probably around the ninth position. Ninth sounds about right. One lap to go. All right, going to cross the start-finish line in the third position. Started fifth, gained two spots, so definitely happy with that. Going to start ninth, like I said. Brian Ramirez grabs a race win. Kyle Arnold in the second position. We grab third. Ricky Cox in fourth. Billy Green in fifth with those top two. Heading to the qualified dash, top five today, main. A main time, we're starting ninth on the inside at Sterling County. Forgot how many laps it is. I think it's 40. But here we go. Let's get going. All right, a main time from the fictional Sterling County. Jessica Robinson starting 16th, finished fourth in heat four. We got Ricky Cox starting 13th. He finished fourth in heat one. Jeff Fabiano starting inside of the second row in third after a third place finish in the dash. We finished third in heat race number one. We're starting ninth on the field here. Getting ready to go green flag racing. 25 laps is the distance. Green flag is out, and we are racing from Sterling County. Power off in here in the turn number one. Make a move on Ned Hill. Grab the eighth position. Oh, wow. That was a big move there by Ned. We're going to make the move stick as he tries to look to the bottom. Nothing doing just yet. Robbie Collins in front of us in the seventh position now. wonder if this race will be as caution-filled as a few of the others we've had. The last race at Fairbury had its fair share of caution flags. That is for sure. Kevin Murphy now in the sixth position as there's just a gaggle of cars fighting for a top five. Not sure. Ooh, a little bit of contact there with Murphy. Everybody pointed in the correct direction. Ned Hill tries to slide, to slide about four cars at once. We're going to come out ahead of everybody on that one. Seventh to fourth in one set of corners. Cody Rodriguez next up as he's running in the third position. Fabiano in front of him. Here we go now. Ooh. Really fast lap time. It looks like the leader may have gotten slowed with the back markers that they've approached. I think Samantha Bell is leading this race. Ah, I gotta keep bouncing. I gotta quit bouncing it off the wall. This track is one of those weird ones, like the banking sucks you up into the track on the straightaways, and you got to be very careful to not uh, not bounce off the wall, which I've clearly done several times. We're now into the back of the field as well as we try to hunt down is that Rodriguez. Yes, Cody Rodriguez, who's right there. I think he just passed his teammate in Campbell. The cars look identical. That's why I call them teammates. I shouldn't say identical. They look very similar. Bobby Young now in front of us. Oh, we got a flipper. Got a flipper, flipper, flipper. Ooh. Right in front of us, we're going to get through relatively unscathed. Don't think we had any damage there. We're going to restart in the fourth position, and like always, need to get to the bottom as quickly as possible <laughs> to limit the damage here. Green flag is back out. Wow. Slow at the front of the field. Bell and Faviano, very slow there on that restart. As Rodriguez is going to jump to the lead, we're going to look to the inside of Jeff F. Jeff F. And try to grab the third position. Nope, nothing doing just yet from Jeff F. Ooh, that was a good set of corners there. We're going to hop into a podium position. 
on Jeff Faviano. As Rodriguez is now hounding Samantha Bell for the race lead. But look, oh boy, look at that. We got into Rodriguez just a little bit there. He's gonna power back on the top side. See if we can make magic happen once more. No, we're still in the third position. Ooh, going to slide up in front of Rodriguez. We've got the second position now. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, see what we can do here. We can close in on Samantha Bell, potentially grab another race win, grab two in a row, potentially. We've got two second place finishes in a row in the big block. See what we can do with the sprint car. Oh, man, we're in another... Oh, at another in, in Illinois track as we got into it with Campbell there. We're going to lose a lot of momentum. Oh, come on. Rodriguez gets back by us. Jeff F. gets back by us. But we're going to get back by Jeff F. Five to go now. Oh, Rodriguez just flipped his, uh, his partner car. And that's going to help us a lot. Oh, boy. Here we go, boys and girls. Restarting in the third position with a less than five laps to go now. Oh, here we go. Sterling County, get ready. Green flag is back out. Let's see what we can do here. Try to put a move on Rodriguez and Bell. Put the move on Rodriguez. Bell goes up. Ooh, Bell gets the run off the corner. Two to go now. Let's see what we can do with Bell here. We're in the second position. We're gonna come off turn number four. We got a white flag in the air. One lap to go. She goes to the top. We go to the bottom. Nothing doing. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it happen. No, but we are gonna come home in the second position. Not bad at all. Two second place finishes for us here. I am happy with that. Bell grabs the win. We come home second. Ramirez rounds out the podium. Robbie Collins, Jeff Fabiano in the fifth position. Oh boy, that was exciting. Ah, we grabbed another top three. Oh boy, another second place finish for us here this episode. Second place in both cars this episode. We're fifth in the point standings now as well with that one win. 1,200 points in total, 60 points now behind Cody Rodriguez. We beat everybody on that list, did we? Didn't we? Who won? I forgot. Samantha Bell won. So Bell Grant was the only one that beat us out of the top five right now. So we're slowly inching our way up, but we don't have very many more races left. That's the points results there. Let's look at earnings. 2,700, 2,187, 442, and 66. We're leaving Sterling County with $5,395 in the bank. Let's head back to the shop. All right, race results from Sterling County. Check out another one of those top 10s. We're not going to get the full sponsor incentive contract, unfortunately. Got some repairs we got to do to the car. That was to be expected. Sponsor goal did expire but because we didn't get all of the goals there. Let's see what we've got up next here. Osmond leaping up the standings. We're so happy with Greg Osmond's performance. Says, win tires, tire shop, and service. You're welcome. New video message from one of the outlaws. I wonder who it is. Let's check it out. You've strung together some nice finishes and you're climbing up the standings. That's awesome. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. We grabbed another top five. Lima Land up next. I like Lima Land. And we're going to pop up the challenging sponsor incentive goal there. I think we can grab some top fives. And a new mechanic is now available. Mark Sumer Summerlee is available. But we'll have to see if we assign him next episode because that's going to do it for us here today. Episode 30 of World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. I am the OGGO Greg Osmond. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. You can follow along with the rest of this series. Check out that video description for a link tree, link to all of our great channel supporters and sponsors. And go check out channel memberships and get ready for the channel Discord that's going to be coming next week. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.